All right, today I'm going to be explaining how to distill butane through a 710 snob extractor and uh, recover it back into your recovery chamber. So what we have here is basically um, I've put my 710 snob extractor together. I've added a sight glass and an extra six inch spool on the lower portion. So I have a little bit more volume to uh, have here as far as distilling and you can do this with any size. Um, I just happen to be doing a lot. so. I figured bigger would be better for a demo and so we can kind of see what's going on in here. So as you see everything is at a full vacuum and everything is closed. We have our pots down here sitting on some dry ice, have our recovery chamber full vacuum. This is open but this is closed right now so we just want to drain all of our butane into our collection pot at this point. So you're going to go ahead and do that by simply using can cracker. These guys right here will drain your can of butane into your system very quickly and efficiently. So let's see if I can. No idea what happened to my other camera earlier. Complete malfunction, so we're just kind of going with the iPhone today. Since we got everything set up, can cracker, can butane, right on there. Let's go ahead and open that up. So now what we've done is we have butane going all the way through this line to this valve. And what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and feel your can over here draining. Let that get a nice drain, get all that butane out. Again, let me set this down so I can show you how to do this. There we go. So, I definitely wait till I can kind of squeeze the can, make sure all the pressure's out. Turn off this little valve right here so you don't get any back pressure really. You can kind of really make sure you get it all in there. There should be a tiny little spurt right here. And that's okay. That's what's going to be left over in your can every time. So you just go ahead and continue that process with however many cans you have, collect all of your butane down into your reservoir, and then we'll start with part two.